Oh my god. What am I doing? Yes, I'm starting a new series of filler. Just for fun. Or just for giggles, or for the shiggles, or whatever I decide to call it. Basically, if there's some kind of, uh, filler that I need between proper games, I will play what I like to call shit dips. So I picked this up for 97 pence, brand new. Then I saw it on the Wii for £7.98 pre-owned. PC wins again. Anyway, let's begin, shall we? I've not actually played this, I've just seen if it worked. So. Flash Bakes. Boss fight. Oh god, that's going to be terrible. Oh dear. Let's see what this game master offer. Not a lot, I'm guessing. Las Vegas, I think. I don't actually watch the show, I should probably clarify that. I've seen maybe two or three episodes. Oop, oop. Well, this looks a bit grotty. The place was called Superla Spa. It was a full service establishment. Massage tables, salon chairs, mud baths, etc. Nice. The explosion went off a little after three. A squad car was two blocks away when the place went up, so the fire department was able to respond within four minutes. Not that it helped. <laughs> Oh no. I thought it was gonna have an intro then. The place was fully engulfed by the time they arrived. They were just lucky to keep it contained to just look at his building. head! I didn't know there was a spa down here. The building's been here since the late seventies, but it's only been a spa since ninety eight. The gentleman in the corner there oh my is Pete Baja. <laughs> the company owns the Pearl Spa. <laughs> I took a statement, but you'll want to follow up with it too. Oh, have dear. you two met yet? Not officially. I'm Sarah Seidel. The team speaks very highly of you. You want to take that interview? Hey, hang on, so I'm that bloke that can't walk. Right? I have a cell phone. Options? Oh, it takes me to the actual options menu. Right. Um, let's just look around, shall we? Is it a point and click game, really? Um, can I... I wanna go over there. There's a there's a rock there. Ooh, ooh, they've got a leak! Ooh, ooh! I don't know what I did. Your tool case consists of four main sections. Oh my god! Fingerprint tools, fluid detection tools, collection tools, and casting tools for making molds. Move the cursor over the type of tool you want to use and select it. Be sure to try and match the type of tool to the type of evidence you're trying to collect. Who picked that voice? Um, I don't know, this kind of looks like acid or something. Um. We should take samples of soot from all around this place to see if we can find traces of an accelerant. Okay. So, was I right? Did I do that right? I'm looking for fiery starting- oh my god, I can move around. Well, that's, that's pretty cool, this is better than I thought it would be. Ooh. There is a hole in this. Um, I don't know what I'm doing with this. Okay, let's try this. You can't just pick that up. Fine. Custis. Yeah, look at that. Look at how it's burned away from its frame. Drywall is usually fire resistant. Usually. Those holes could be there to let more air fan the fire and get to that wooden frame underneath. That could indicate arson, but we'll need a lot more evidence to prove it. This is such bull crap. Oh, look at me. I instantly know everything about the way the spa works. Yes. Typical television. Let's get, oh, what's over there? I see something in the distance. Look, look, look. There. Over there. Let's put 
Let me go in that room. Is that actually me? Hi, Pedro Baja. Baja, like Baja, California. But call me Pete. Everyone does. Well, almost everyone. Okay. You in charge of this place, Pete? I'm the CEO of Miel LLC. It's less impressive than it sounds. It's basically a holding company for a few mom and pop style businesses that were worth rescuing when the original owners wanted out. The company owns Super La Spa. What's left of it? To choose what to say, move the cursor over a topic <laughs> icon and select it. Thank you. State the obvious. We'll have to notify the claims adjuster when we've released the scene. Someone back there. Actually, this is kind of embarrassing, but the policy on this place has lapsed. You let the fire insurance on one of your businesses expire? It's complicated. We sent them a payment, but they said they didn't get it. Then they wanted us to pay a late fee and raise our premium. I mean, we've done business with them for years, and now they decide to penalize us over a little slip-up? Could this be a motive? You've just received Shut a up. case file update. Shut up. You can access the case file by using your PDA. I have some things I need to take care of. Here's my card, at least until the next board meeting. You can reach me uh, at I see what he did there. He's gonna get fired. Wonderful. Uh, can I walk? I can walk through that door. I'll go see what the blue thing is in a minute. <gasps> Stuff on the chair. Ugh. Pick up the chair. Really? Can't do anything else. What's this? Can't look at that. So, am I her? What's this? How are you? We need to figure out what caused this fire. If it's an accident, we won't have to do much more. Hang on, so there's nobody actually dead? See, I thought CSI was just people dying. Shows how much I watch it. Can't keep going. Click on the pole. Ooh. One mud bath contains a lot more mud than the others. It might just be the way they do it. But the one next to it is filled only up to the line on the side of the tub. That mud is baked solid. We're going to need a way to examine it inside and out without actually breaking it up and compromising potential evidence. You know, the other day, Catherine was telling me that we have access to an industrial ultrasound device. How convenient. It sounds perfect for this problem. I'll give her a call. The power of one click. Now we're living in the future. I'm still waiting for my flying car, but seeing through walls isn't too shabby. I have a rough idea, but remind me again how the device works. Just turn it on and point the wand at whatever you want to scan. <laughs> the sound waves it emits penetrate at different speeds depending on the density of the material. And the onboard computer translates that into a picture, is that right? You got it. I don't think I need to tell you to be careful with it, but be careful with it. What is it about TV that... Oh, we must have an explanation of this. We can't just leave it to their imagination. No. Oh, hello. Oh, 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 they, uh, there's somebody in here. Look, there's the groinal region. There's a foot. Let's go find the skull. Dun, dun, dun. Really? The skull was the only thing that triggered any sort of suspicion, was it? Does that look like a human body to you? No! It looks like we have a victim after all. Called it. I'll call Doc Robbins for a pickup. Freaking called it. Cleaning her off is just the first step. This is going to take a while. Want to go back? I'll give you a call when I have something for you. Let's head back to the crime scene. See what else we can turn Why up. Why did you have to take me away for that? Yeah. Yeah. They've actually captured him pretty well. I'll give him that much. I thought one of her feet was missing there. Um, don't really need to talk to either of you. Um, not really anything I can do, is there? Okay, back to the crime scene. The location Shut icons up. represent the different places Shut you up. can... I shut her up. It's fantastic. I'm getting the hang of this. Not that it's really that challenging. Can I go through? Thank you. Oh my god, it's a kitchen. What dastardly deeds happened in here? 
<gasps> There's a stool on the floor. Health and safety hazard. So these are the questions that should be answered. Um, <gasps> muffin. This thing was on last night. We could have our ignition source. Yeah, and what about the woman in the mud tub? It's hard to tell what this was. Not much left of it. Judging from the charring in the inside of the oven, it was in there for long enough to catch fire. It's almost like a timed fuse. A muffin? So far, that's two things that point to arson. We'll need more evidence to be sure. Stop overcomplicating things. It could have just went, no, 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 no. A muffin. But no, you had to go on this whole spool thing. Criminal Minds, that's, that's a good show. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That, I, I, I clicked on the that open cupboard door. Not up here. Fine, fine. Popcorn style ceiling. Hold your breath while you're taking that sample. If it's as old as it looks, it's probably got asbestos in it. She just won't stop drawing conclusions. Keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. Ooh, what's up? Doesn't matter, it's just pretty scenery. Oh, hello. The soot. I can take a soot sample. I think if we're going to be looking this closely at the texture, that they might have bothered to make a look at the. I think if we can get one more sample of soot after this one, we'll have enough. Oh, the rule of three. Very nice. Do, 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 do. Through the door. Pick up the blue thing I spotted from the other room. I wish to look at this. Not oh, fine, I'll get the soot sample. Spoiler my parade. We've gathered soot from all over this place. Should be enough. Fantastic. Alright, anything else before I look at the No. Oh, it's just like well, that looks a little bit... Oh, it's cut. This one's crooked. Surely that's not a good idea as well. Nothing else before I click on this thing, which might go, Hey, you found something important. I must take you away. Oh. Camera. Camera. Fingerprints. Some tools require you to yeah. hold the button down while moving Shut the curve. I don't think we're going to pull any prints off of that. You sure? I don't think we're yeah, going to yeah, pull well, any prints let, let off me, of that. Let me close the tool and thank you. Fluids! Yes. What makes you think there would be latent fluids there? I don't know, I haven't used this one yet. What makes Shut you up. think there would be latent fluids there? Let me do what I want. Casting. Look at the crimping along the edges of the split gas line. I'd say it was cut. Really? I needed to take a mold? To say that it had been That's cut. That's the third sign of possible arson we found. I'm almost convinced. A dead body and a cut wire. And you're still not convinced. Right. Okay. Sounds legit. Is there anything else? Nothing else? The evidence viewer Shut allows up. you... You can rotate around the evidence by selecting any part of it and moving the cursor in the direction you want it to turn. Oh. Fancy. Rotate the muffin, rotate the muffin. I still don't see why I needed to take this. Um. Sut. I should look at the sut. Not very interesting. Okay. Who can I take this to to be analyzed? Lab! Go get evidence before I interrogate the blokey. Um. Materials, yes. This is a uh, groovy licious. Alright. 
The Visual Enhancement Station allows you to view and compare both small and large objects and process document evidence. Okay. Is there an easier way that you could have said that? Really? Odd. The microscope lets you view items at a variety of I know what a microscope does. To examine this item more closely, you need to find <sighs> the correct combination of magnification, focus setting, and position. And for a fact, if I turn it the off, magnification controls. Then I'll miss something. Wash our hands. Better safe than sorry. Okay, where can I? Does this analyze things? The material yes. analysis station allows you to analyze chemical composition and process DNA evidence. The chemical analyzer lets you identify really? the chemical composition of certain evidence. Select a piece of evidence using the evidence button to it's begin. It's not worth having the tutorial on, I'll work it out for myself. Compare to... Is it a match? Yeah. If I'm thinking of it as infrared spectroscopy, then that's pretty. Yeah. Match the lines together. I don't think. Okay. Got to match the lines together. Do oh, hello. That worked. Lots of carbon, some acetone, and trace amounts of T butyl mercaptan. That's the odorant they use in natural gas. Acetone is sometimes used as an accelerant. We should test the rest of the soot we've collected. I love how I was completely overcomplicating it. It's mostly carbon, but there are traces of volcanic minerals in acetone. The mud at the spa is made of volcanic ash, but the acetone is an anomaly. We have acetone, a known accelerant, in yes, samples of soot taken from that. every room in the spa. We've got a gas leak that looks to be the result of tampering. The drywall here has been ventilated to get around its natural fireproofing. And then there's this acetone residue over every inch of the place. Are you satisfied that it's arson now? Throw a muffin in the toaster oven at 450 degrees. Then just leave it in there without setting the timer. Sounds like a recipe for arson. Hey there, it's Dr. Robbins. Just wanted to let you know I've completed the autopsy on your burn victim. Okay. I like how he posed for the picture. That's wonderful. You know, I might like to explore this place, but I really don't care enough to, so... Ooh, can I go through the... No, I can't go through the door. Is this the evidence board? I don't know. Don't really care. Data lab. I don't know what any of this crap does. I'm guessing this is audio sampling. Fingerprint scanning. Yeah. I, c I can make assumptions. Let's go see what the autopsy yielded. Oh dear. That looks wonderful. I was gonna say, if there was no lines, I'd be immediately disappointed about the autopsy. Uh, slightly disturbing camera angles here. Let's talk to him, shall we? Hey, Doc. Why are you here? All right, let's begin. Ugh, she follows me everywhere like a bad smell. Well, her bikini probably left no room for imagination, nor an ID. Perth. But I did collect her fingerprints and DNA for you. Yay, now I have to trail back to the lab and put that through. Take a look at the third-degree burns on your victim's hands and face. 
You can probably tell that they were above the surface of the mud during the initial explosion and subsequent fire. In addition to the burns to her skin, she suffered thermal injury to her upper airway. She inhaled a substantial amount of smoke and so hot was gases alive from the fire. The Carboxyhemoglobin levels in her blood exceeded 73%. Cause of death was suffocation due to carbon monoxide poisoning. In a fire that intense, carbon monoxide levels would spike rapidly. She probably fell unconscious pretty quick. Most likely, she slipped under the mud after losing consciousness. Well, at least she was unconscious. Time of death is going to be difficult to determine. Even without the fire, the initial temperature of the mud bath complicates my ability to offer an accurate estimate. I was able to extract samples of the vitreous humor from both eyes. Potassium accumulation in the tissue indicates time of death between 3 and 4 a.m. That's consistent with when the fire started. Okay. Not exactly, but take a look at this bruising on her arm. Does that look like a handprint From to honest, you? it just looks blurry. Yeah. Looks like someone grabbed her pretty hard. From the coloration of the bruising, I'd say it occurred at least 6 to 12 hours prior to death. I certainly find no indication she was lying in that mud over a prolonged period of time. We need to get a photo of those bruises. My camera's memory card is full. You mind That's documenting this one? That's very unprofessional of you. Go take a picture of her face. No. Um, yeah. Go down. There we go. Now look, look up. Look up at her, um, armpit. That's just lazy. Nice composition. Right. Can I go back to the lab now? Fingerprint scanner. Stop scanning. Is this? I'm gonna search if that's an actual company and this is just one massive. Ugh. Ugh. Our victim is not an aphis. Our victim is not in here. Okay. Don't have it. I don't really know what I'm doing, if I'm honest with you. Shall we go use the uh, DNA machine? Let's go search some nucleotides. Why did I click on chemical? She's not in CODIS. Our Jane Doe doesn't seem to be in the system. Maybe Pete Baja knows her. Okay. Looks like we're taking a road trip. Low res cutscene. I must inspect the brush. Hmm. Why can't I knock on the door? Oh, hey, you two. I just got back. What do you need? We found an unidentified female victim in one of the mud baths at the spa. Oh my God. Portia. No! Who? Portia Wiseman. She's... She's the manager at the spa. She's the only other one with a key. Just the thought that she might have been in there when it went up. I'm sorry. It's just horrible. We can't be sure who she is until we get oh, a positive harsh. identification. Of course. Uh, let me lock up here. He's all distraught now. He's going to have to see her. Oh, Porsche. No. What were you doing in there? Actually, we were hoping you could help us shed some light on that. Would you mind answering a few more questions? I... Uh, sure. Body is a very strange shape. Oh, look, he's back. She's not in the phone book. I looked. Oh, yes, I know where she lived. Let me write it down for you. I never got the chance to visit her. Here you go. So, I hate to ask, but is that everything you need from me right now? I have to come up with something to tell the board about why I let the insurance run out. 
and I can't really focus on that while I'm here. I think we have what we need for now. Why You'll be didn't... at the barber shop if we need you. I may have some errands to run, but I will be there for some time today, for Why sure. Why would you drag him here and then just say, Oh, no, that's fine. We've had our little five-second conversation. You can toddle off now. No, that doesn't make sense. And how would he know her address off by heart if he'd never had the chance to visit her? Legal documents, maybe? Payment checks? It just seems a little odd. Was the spa making money? Sure. I mean, it can always get better, right? But it was profitable. Is there anyone you can think of who might have had a reason to like start the chair. fire at the spa? No. I mean, who blows up a spa? Someone else with a spa. Think back. Did she ever seem unusually angry or depressed? Well, we weren't exactly close, but I got the feeling she was in a troubled relationship. Little things here and there, really. Such as? One Friday, I asked her if she had any fun plans for the weekend. Not really, she said. Just hanging out with the boyfriend. She said it like it was a, a root canal or something. It wasn't just that. I think he hit her. Why do you think that he hit her? Well, Portia always seemed to like showing off her body. I even had to ask her who wants to wear more than just her bikini to work. But one week, a while back, I can't remember exactly when, she wore long sleeve shirts every day, and she seemed depressed. When I asked her about it, she gave me some lame excuse about needing to do laundry. But when she thought I wasn't looking, I saw her rub her arm and wince. Seems awfully convenient. Well, Portia was a very Yet she went around in bikinis. I know almost nothing about her boyfriend, except what I was able to infer. So is he going to toddle off now? Or? Ah, let's go investigate, shall we? Maybe the boyfriend will knock on the door. Also, where's Lawrence Fishburne? I bought this game for him. What? Las Vegas Crime Lab, drop the weapon now! Is it just me or does that look like the bloke from the cutscene? Driver's license says Brian Reed. You mind telling us why you were in Portia Weissman's apartment, Mr. Reed? It's my girlfriend's apartment. Well, ex-girlfriend as, as of yesterday. Do you break into all your ex-girlfriend's apartments? What? No, I didn't break in. I have a key. Come on, the door was bashed open and you were standing there with a sledgehammer. The door was busted in when I got there. So I grabbed the tool just in case the guy who broke in was still hanging around. Hey, just call Portia. She's angry with me, but she'll back me up. <laughs> She's dead. <laughs> a fire? Oh, God. Is she okay? Unfortunately, Miss Weissman never made it out of the mud bath. The mud? You mean she... It, it can't be! Mr. Reed, we're sorry for your loss. A fire. Yes, a fire. That voice really doesn't match his body at all. So he's got the face of a 12-year-old. An oddly shaped body of 25 year old. And then the voice of a middle aged man. 